Hello, my friends. I'm Drillspa, and welcome to Stray Cat Crossing. A new series with lovely intro music. So, I've never played this game before. I saw it on Steam for literally $3. That's a steal, in my opinion. And this game looked so good. I had a lot of positive reviews that I didn't read because I didn't want to spoil anything for myself. And plus, this game felt like it had more of a gothic approach to it. Like, you know gothic romanticism that they teach you in high school? Yeah, that kind of stuff. So, we're gonna run with the new game. And I know I'll, I still need to do the good end for me, Sal, and I know I'm totally blowing off Boogeyman. Oh my gosh, that's such pr such pretty. Ha. Huh. Nice grammar. Anyway, like I was saying, I know I have to do the good end for me, Sal, and I still have to play the Boogeyman, but this game just looked too good to pass up. Oh, hello. Hey, are you okay? I don't know why I'm assuming she's British, but... You know what? Let's do it. Let's just assume they're in London. What's wrong? Are you lost? I'm scared. I want to go home. It's pretty late. Do you know where your house is? Are those dots or dashes? Like a Dickinson approach. Yes. Alright, and I'll follow you. It's that way. Also, I found a really nice pop mic on Amazon for $10. I should probably buy it. I can take you home if you want. That is such a nice scarf. I have a lot of scarves. Um, One of them is like 30 years old, I think, because I got it from my dad. But a scarf like that would be super nice. Don't you want to go home? Come on, little girl. Okay. What do you mean, okay? You were crying on the side of the road. Hmm? What's wrong? Yeah, what is wrong? Cold. Oh. Okay, I guess I'll give you my scarf. Hey! Here, take my scarf. Oh, cool. It's like a um, fur collar. That actually looks really cool. It reminds me of Sans' jacket. Better? Too tight. Oh, come on. Children. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. What is that? Okay, I guess that's important. Here, let me fix it for you. I just realized how skinny her arms look on the sprite. And look how skinny her arms are in the dialogue. Goodness me, darling. Someone get that girl a sandwich. Better? Warm. Great. By the way, what's your name? Cat. That's a nice name. Nice to meet you, Cat. Let's take you home. Ooh. I'm not even doing anything. This is just ambience. And now we're in the Lorax. Nope, we're in a title screen. Wow, those are blue trees. Okay. I know I'm being a little nitpicky with some of the things, but Fridge really knows how to make a visually appealing game right off the bat. A story by Jorlo and a uh, thing I couldn't read. Yeah, don't don't hit the brakes. Yeah, just don't do that. Oh, that's a creepy looking house. Okay then, I'm excited. Stray Cat Crossing. Oh boy. I have a bad feeling about this, but at the same time I have a really good feeling. Is this your house? Yes, here is fine. Are you sure? What, do you want me to walk to the door with her? Yes. Well then, take care, cat. I just realized she's like shoving her um hands up the scarf. Goodbye. Wait, you stole my scarf. Come back. Yeah, that's what I thought. Come on, back this way. Um, thank you. Hey, wait, my scarf. I'm not the only one. I can't lose that scarf. I know I'm being really quiet with the British accent, but I'm not very loud with it. Oh, cool, I can do things now. 
just after playing Misao, everything in this game feels so much larger. Hello. Hmm. The door is open. Way to go, cat. Enter. Yes. Oh, that's pretty music. I like it. Cat. Oh, I can save. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Hey, the telly's on. Whoa, aren't you a wee tad creepy? Kinda creepy, but mesmerizing. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be that close to the TV. Gosh, you are creepy, but kinda cute. Who are you? Oh, you're adorable. Look at you. You got the rat's hair thing, covered eyes, and a Polaroid camera. You're the cutest thing I've seen in a long time. You know, that's not Undertale. Of course. Hold st still. <gasps> You're a save point. You are wonderful. Aww. Whoa. Cat must have went this way. Should we go upstairs? <gasps> oh, what are you? What was that? I agree with that statement completely. Oh my gosh, that scared me. What was that? That was so weird. This game is so cool. The creepy basement. Cat, are you in here? It's locked. Oh great, I'm gonna die in a creepy basement. Oh man, the soundtrack is just so whoa. Look, look, look at the hag! Look what the cat dragged in. A guest, a guest! We must look our best. We've never had a guest before. A sight for so rise, isn't it? You two are wonderful. You're like a. I like the top hat, seriously. I like the design, it's so creepy. That's a sore lie, isn't it? Isn't it, isn't it? <laughs> Ugh. Who are you? I want to know who that little dog man is there in the bottom left. Don't be so innocent. <laughs> hear that, hear that? Weird that. Well, she never met us, did she? Did she? Did she? Precious, isn't she? Have you seen a little girl around? Little girl, little girl. Aren't you a little girl? <laughs> Gosh, these two are incredible. I'd like to leave, please. She'd like to leave? To leave? The nerve. The peeve we'd grieve. Is there a way out? These two are so theatrical. Welcome to the theater. Starring Nameless One and Nameless Two. Out? Yes. And out? Yes. A favor. I declare a favor. Declare a favor? What does that even mean? A favor? Honor the favor, and then she can leave. The nerve, the peeve. Okay, what is the favor? I would be a little concerned if I got locked in a creepy basement with tall and short here, and then they asked me to do them a favor. Seriously, they have broken mirrors behind them. Little creepy old and tiny bikes, and a dog man. I would be a little concerned. Our favor, she asks. I keep forgetting their voices. Please, miss. It's not a hard task. Oh, they're rhyming. I just realized. Whoa. Calm down. Okay. The stupid, useless, wrinkly, snickly, pea brain, spud face, fly ridden, flea bitten, slop smelling, dung dwelling, pubescent, post and pile of mutt here. Woof. Can you tell me its name? Here, here. Then you can leave. 
Leave us behind, how unkind. Are you wearing a bib? Tell you its name. Um... Maybe if I talk to you two, I get hints. Humph, what do you want? Oh, this stupid useless Miggly Snigly, this, that, and the other thing not here. Can you tell me its name? No. Then shoo, move along. Hey, what's your name? A dog, I think. Gosh, oh my goodness. For those of you who, have, uh, who at least know about Clock Tower for the SNES, yeah, this little guy reminds me of the big fat thing behind the curtain in that game. Like Scissor Man's brother or cousin or whatever. Um, maybe there's a hint lying around here. A nice sculpture of a swan. It's beautiful. And I forgot that she's British. My bad. Let's see what we have to say about these bikes. An old-fashioned bicycle. It looks uncomfortable. Alright. I'm gonna take a shot at what his name is. Actually, does something weird happen with the mirror? It's just a sinking mirror. Alright, now. Okay. Can you tell me its name? Yes. Okay, five letters. Um... You know what, guy? I'm just gonna take a shot. Wrong, 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 wrong! No shoe, move along. Alright. Do you give me... There has to be a hint around here somewhere. Oh, it's, um, you! Hey, buddy! Yes, of course, I'd love a picture from you. Give me the cutest thing ever, I swear. Can I just, like, carry you with me, like, Luke and Yoda style? Whoa, welcome to Death Daycare. Leave your children here if you don't want to see them again, holy crap. A rack of test tubes. Yes, got test tube. You view items in your inventory, press X to open the menu. Oh yeah, I already figured that out. Gosh, the soundtrack in this game is just so intense. It's an old diary. Read entry? Yeah. May 18th, 1912. To be honest, I find the back garden as terrifying as it is fascinating. The creatures that lurk there can only be described as cunning and monstrous. Like tall and short. I'm just gonna call them that because I don't know their real names. And yet, the plants have take root there. I never could have dreamed of them. The floors seem ordinary, but the properties are, I dare say, magical. For example, the extract of rose, which is important because they changed the color of the font, emanates warmth, even in the coldest conditions. The rest is scribbled out because they don't want me to see it. Okay, let's... A planet model hangs over the crib. A dead bird hangs over the crib. Ugh. A plane model hangs over the crib. Okay, that's super creepy. And also, goat... A horned sheep skull hanging over the fireplace. Sheep, my apologies. Its mouth is chained and locked shut. Blanket. Pink rabbits. I'm assuming this one has ducks, because that's what it kind of looks like. Yellow ducks on it. Okay, yeah! I'm just assuming that I'm going to get stuck multiple times throughout this adventure here. So I can just slide past these bikes. Okay, I thought I was trapped in here and I had to keep guessing until I got it right. Can I get through here? No, I can't. Um... Oh, maybe I have to get something from the lab to melt the swan. That might be a good idea. Oh no, this game is super cool so far, because it's like... Super creepy, but it's like so creepy that it's cute. With the exception of this room, because this room is a nightmare. A flask containing a blue chemical. Okay, I'm gonna take these other test tubes. Just so I have them. Green chemical. Fill the tube, yep. And then, we need a red chemical. Or red potion, my bad. Oh, it's using the word potion! That's actually really cool. Alright. Oh, Christ! Don't do that! Oh, don't do that to me. Come on. It's hot in this room. I turned off my fan. I gotta unzip my coat. Ugh, don't do that. Hey, buddy. Can we save again? Yes, I'd love a picture. 
I'd love to see all these Polaroids when you're done. Okay, buddy? Thanks. I need to give you a name. Gosh, I don't know what to call you. A nice sculpture of a swan. It's beautiful. Pour red potion over swan. Okay. So I guess I do use the red potion there. I thought it was the green. It melted instantly. Okay, I'm gonna go save one more time. And my phone is buzzing. I'm super sorry about that. The cord of my headphones, like I have it plugged into my computer and it's next to me. So it's like leaning against a chair and leans against my pockets sometimes and whatever it clacks against, I feel like it picks up on the mic. All right, let's go see what's in the next room. Okay, considering that Undertale videos end up being like half an hour to an hour long, I'm going to try to keep these relatively short. I know I dropped the ball on that with me, Sal, but I'm going to try my best to keep it clean. Ah, nuts. Ah, nuts. Good to hear. An old guitar. Someone snapped its neck. An old bass. The strings are broken. An old film reel. Pick it up. Got the film reel. So I guess we put it in here. The projector is running by itself. Yeah, let's play the film reel. Babyface Productions! Oh, Faust the dog. Faust! Your name is Faust! You're adorable! For lack of a better term. Oh wait, it's short! What? Uh, son? Okay, no, 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 no. Nightmare. Alright, let's go tell them that their dog's name is... Hey there, buddy! It's offering an egg. Yes? Okay, buddy! <laughs> um... I'm gonna go tell them that their dog's name is Faust. And then I'm gonna save and end this video here. Stop. Okay, that one didn't catch me as off guard as the last one. But it's still pretty creepy. I'm gonna see these guys in my nightmares tonight. Alright, I know the name of your dog now, buddy. Uh, yeah, I can. His name is Faust. Uh, where's Est? Correct! Correct! Correct? How? Foul play, I suspect. No! You just leave your crap lying around and I just so happen to utilize it. Must be. Must be. Must be. Must we ask for another favor? Must we? We must! Oh, come on. We mustn't hate her. Another favor will right the wrong. Favors for favors. Bring us the favorite food of the ram. Now scram! Okay, okay. I'm gonna save and end that video there. Gosh, this is such a nice game. Hey, baby raddits. I need to think of you a better name. If you have a cute name for him, tell me in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. And I'm going to have to end this video here, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you stick around, because there will be more to come. Alright, goodbye my friends.